Okay, this is part two of reading the book of Daniel here. All right. Yeah, okay. What happens is uh, the he goat comes to the west, breaks the two horns of Iran. I think this is hitting Sunni Islam because I think these horns are Sunni and Shia Islam. He breaks them, destroys, stamps them into the ground, and he becomes great. And what happens, and he's broken and, and uh, came forth a little horn, which waxes extremely great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land. And I think the pleasant land is the holy land, which is Israel. And it waxed great, even to the host of heaven. And it cast down some of the hosts and some of the hosts and the stars to the ground and stamped upon them. It's probably the stamp upon them is probably uh, giving them the mark of the beast when they come into... Well, I'll, t I'll talk about that some other time here. Okay. Yea, it means also he magnified himself even to the prince of the host. I don't know what the prince of the host is. Maybe that's Jesus. I don't know. And by him the daily sacrifice was taken away and the, pa and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. Now that could mean a spiritual thing, where the with the body being at your host of the temple, or there's going to be an actual temple. I really don't know yet. And an host was given him against the day sacrifice by reason of transgression, and it cast down the truth to the ground. And I think that's this thing is the truth cast it to the ground. And it practiced and prospered. Then I heard one of the saints speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake. How long shall the vision be concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the hosts of the trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And I think that's three and a half years. And it came to pass, when I, even Daniel, heard, had seen the vision and sought the meaning, he, then behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man, and I heard a voice, a man's voice between the banks of Ulai, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near to me where I stood. And when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, understand, O son of man, at the time of the end shall be the vision. Now, as he was speaking, to, uh, uh, speaking with me, I was in deep sleep on my face toward the ground, but he touched me and set me, set me upright. And he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation, for at the time appointed the end shall be. The ram which thou sawest, having, t having two horns, are the kings of Media and Persia, and the rough goat is the king of, the, of Grecia, and the great horn it, that is between his eyes is the first king. And I, was, I think this is talk about Alexander the Great right here. All right. Yeah, Alexander the Great. And that would be the first king. Okay. Now that's being broken, or as four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his power. And in the latter time of their kingdom, which I think is, could be now with a blamer, uh, when the transgressors ha are come to uh, the full, a king of fierce countenance, now could they be talking about, a, could be talking about a blamer here, and understanding dark sentences shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And the holy people could be the Jews, or it could be Christians. Don't know, but he's done so far a great job of doing that by, uh, I mean, like 22 soldiers a day commit suicide, you know. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Boy. <laughs> I mean, really, uh... I think that's true. Hildebeest was guilty, but, ah, let her off, you know. And that's if this is talking about them, yeah. In his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. And he got that peace prize and then destroyed many with it. 
and he shall also stand up against the prince of princes. But he shall be broken without hand. If he, that's probably, now that's probably, if this is talking about the blamer, it probably means that the blamer becomes the Antichrist. So, if that's true, then we got two weeks to see this thing come to nothing. Okay. And the vision in the evening and the morning, which was told is true. Wherefore, shut up the vision, for it shall be for many days. Yeah, I'll say, many days. And I, Daniel, fainted, and was sick certain days. Afterward I rose up and did the king's business, and I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. And that's it. Well, we got, tw we got two weeks left now to see if a blamer is gonna be that he goat. Uh, it's talking about Greece. It's talk. I think it's really talking about Alexander the Great attacking 